Hello, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to episode 5 of Lux Invicta. I'm your host, Galvin, and we're busy being at war with Antioch. Now, uh, I've looked at their capital here. If we want to storm that, we're going to require more troops, uh, because that's going to he heal up before I can... I guess I could abandon the siege and dash at it right now. Mm -hmm. and no, then the, that would finish. I, I, I think I'm going to go with the plan that I came up with to just get some mercs. Because although they may be expensive initially, they have a very low monthly cost. Uh, I probably only have maybe 1.5 gold to spare initially um, per month. Even though it says I have a huge monthly balance, this is during the autumn. Uh, this is October 31st. So I actually had a huge tax boost right now, I believe. Yeah. So I'm thinking I only have a uh, monthly profit about maybe 1.5. So, I'm going to stick it with the Armenian band. We can send them head over that way. That's fine. Okay. That's something. Apparently, uh, restarting the game uh, causes some stuff that needs to be reinitialized, I guess. And now you're just going to run all over the place, aren't you? And the old wife's pregnant. Lovely. Yeah, get him. Yeah, no hope. Yeah. All of you dead. D E D. And oop, auto saving. January seventh. January sixth, really. Uh very well, I'll be merciful. Can we get here before? Yeah, I, maybe. Another banner to hang proudly in the hall. Hopefully they get to the... Yay, alright, good job. Alright, so we got their army even pinned in there. They have to go through Balbec, I guess. If they can, yeah, I think they can. I'm fairly certain they can. Shouldn't be anything stopping them. Sure. It's... Every time... Every time I ever have a rumor event, like, my spy master is as good as dead, it seems. Alright. Well, there's nothing that you can really do, I suppose. That's fine. Alright, so, uh, let's, let's see. Double gelder. We don't actually have any more tax for upgrading the administration in the province. What about the granary? Granary looks good. Yeah, granary. Still, it's interesting how you could set this up. You could end up being a lot like Carthage and have a standing army of mercenaries, a large amount of it, if you were to, say, set your laws towards uh, taxation and mercantilism here. You'd, no, you'd, you'd get much less levies, but noble vassal tax, you'd actually get some. Yeah. Welcome to the world. Jerk. Hmm. Oh, lose the trait chase. That's fine. Um. Uh, damn, now I have two kids. This isn't really a problem right now, but it will be when I finish this war, because I'll have a, uh, age zero, really. Ooh, pneumonia. Yeah, if he was in prison. Ooh, that would kill him right away. Oh, wow, minus five. I think diseases might be slightly more deadly on this, because I remember pneumonia was only five. Then again, this is 2.5 now. Yeah, I think things in general might just be more deadly uh, in this in this mod. It, it would seem that way. Attempted assassination of Daniel. It's better to forgive and forget. Uh, he's a good leader. The banner to rang proudly in my hall. Alright, let's go smack up whatever troops they managed to get together here. <clears throat> smack those biatches up the wall. But yeah, it seems like diseases are a lot more deadly, so we'll have to watch out. I guess that means lifespans are probably going to be a lot shorter. No 116 year old rulers. 
<laughs> oh well, man can dream, right? Alright, uh, let's, I guess, head over there. Oh wait, uh, this, this is a, getting to be a pretty small army. Let's drop it down for a little while. Mercenaries can do their work. Yeah, the mercenaries will be able to do the work uh, for the moment. Let's instead focus on doing things like building granaries. There's only s seven levels of this. So, uh, you know, getting all the way up to whatever the hell our tech allows us to. Probably only small granary. I doubt we're going to get a... Uh, you know, I, I don't think we'll probably... We probably won't have the tech for a large granary. That's okay, though. That's okay. Yeah, some more tax, baby. Like, tax is actually pretty uh, important, simply because, uh, you know, winter and summer and all that. So, uh, trying to improve, you know, your tax improves your minimum tax and your maximum tax that you earn. Off to the dungeons with him. Huzzah. That's 100%. Ooh. Don't crash on me there. Oh, and I, I get that because, uh, you know, holding, ooh, wow, they raised a, uh, mercenary band there. Good thing we've ended this war. Eat my shorts. Alright, so yeah, she's the theme of Antioch, but she holds a province in Tripoli. I know, I was looking at their structure before that. I don't like it. Lowers all vassal opinions by 20. Eh. How far will I go for a feudal structure? So I can revoke this for free, right? Really? Oh. <laughs> she had a uh, mercenary company up, that's right. Really? Antioch's a powerful province, but you're getting in a little over your head, don't you think? Uh, like, Antioch's a place that I wouldn't mind perhaps making my capital. This... You know? Um, yeah. You, you, you can try that. It's going to be a very, very poor fight for you. Also, I wish you all your luck. Um... Also, would you, would you, wait. Oh, yeah, you're under her, that's right. I was gonna say, uh, would you like to be, uh, converted? I think you would. Although they're Helens, that's all right. <laughs> that's, uh, that, that's something we can work on later. But apparently I can't demand his religious conversion. Oh. Right, he's under that. Man, the religious conversion of those two, then. It's a start. She's a child, so I can't do anything. Um, yeah, I think it's probably best that I just revoke this. It cost me 500 authority to do that. Oh, good God. Wait, what? Oh, that's why, yeah. That, that'll do it. <laughs> Freaking apparently young people. They don't have any health. But, oh, well, at least we've won our first war and uh, more or less doubled the size of the kingdom. But seriously, I mean, Ant Antioch's got some good stuff here. Uh, local granary. Not terrible. Not too far behind administration. Hard working. Good intuition. I like something that gives me health. Damn. <laughs> because I'm maimed, so uh, my health is actually like 3.5. It's pretty low. It's just the same as my son's. And if my son, if children have like a 50% chance of survival, I don't think I'm gonna last that long. Wait, shit, did I just really do that? Fuck. Well, there goes the kind trait. It's second nature for me to throw people in the oubliette at this point. Aw, oh, shit. Uh, 
Ugh. Second nature, I tell ya. Uh, vessel inheritance warning. The Count of Antioch. Uh, okay. I don't really care. <laughs> it doesn't seem to be a big problem for me. Like, other than the fact that a courtier. I guess it's probably he's in line for both of them. Yeah. Which isn't a problem since we're busy revoking this. It's gonna be a while though. That's fine though. I'm I'm fine with that. Uh, seriously, Antioch seems to be like just pimped out more than mine. Uh, one of the things is I think that might be because of cultural uh, buildings. Like, oh great, now I'm going to die because I'm ill. That's minus one, right? Oh no, that's minus two. That leaves me with. One health. No, 0 0.5 health. Health minus 2. It's 4.5. Oh, yeah, right. 4.5. Uh, that makes 1.5 health remaining. Lovely. Uh, I really wish my guy would stop dying. God damn it. He's dying right in front of me, and I just, there's nothing I can do. It's sad. He's such a good king. And the worst part is he's probably going to leave it to, you know, somebody who's one year old and is probably going to die. This ch child mortality rates are not very good. I'm just saying. Just saying. Um. Okay. <laughs> Apparently, you know, there's a one year old uh, trained fighter. That's that's impressive. But yeah, that's kind of a problem. Convert to attacker's religion? Oh yeah, she's technically my attacker. I could, uh... Convert to Alexandros Ammonite. Live! Wow, okay, I was, I was expecting to die there. Works for me. Okay, we don't actually have enough, uh... To continue the siege, that's fine. We'll get some more dudes up there. But, uh, ooh, 90. Oh, yeah. I'm losing, but I won't give up yet. Ugh. I mean, those people would learn to give up sooner. Well, let's see. Lower Crown Authority in Palmyra. It's relevant. I think everything's going quite well. Be able to end this episode, uh, hopefully on a good note, if the siege could finish up and we could win this. Suppose calling on, uh, the adjacent soldiers wouldn't hurt. Alright. Okay. Bring in everything, just, you know, speed this thing up a little. <laughs> All the better. Uh, one of the things I did note, you know, fort levels are a lot higher here. Yeah, you've got a big, you got more stone wall. Uh, maybe I should, I'm not certain if I want to make Antioch. You know, my, uh, capital. I just kind of feel like I should keep it to Palmyra. Well, that's the right culture, so that's an advantage. Um... So, maybe. We'll have to see. But Antioch looks like to be a pretty good province. Yeah, we, we need to move towards Jerusalem, I think. We have a valid Casas Bali, okay. Can I just, uh, you know, attack over the water or whatever? Jason Sea Zone, all that? March right through and take Jerusalem? I will totally establish Jerusalem as like, uh, what do you, what do you call it? A uh, theocracy vassal. Force my demands. Since we have a claim on it, nobody will object. Done. Legendary training archives. Primitive military tradition is yeah, expecting, uh, I guess it's probably based on the culture of the province. Oh no, cataracts and horse archers. Here we go. Uh, 
What do we got here? Tradition, heavy cavalry, and heavy infantry. Yeah, I'm gonna keep to Palmyra. Um, I'm gonna drop the levies though. Keep Palmyra as my capital. You have the theme of Antioch. Yeah, I really, really need to revoke this duchy. It cost me an arm of friggin' leg around here. We don't have raised army levies, though, do we? Oh, apparently we had some dudes in there. Uh, We do not have raised army levies, though. Oh, 109. Oop. That's all that remains of these mercenaries. Wow. Did they even reinforce it all? Uh, I don't know. Either way, we're going to be ending this episode here. Yeah, they don't seem to reinforce when raised. It's just, just, just a thought. Uh, because they didn't reinforce that month. Uh, yeah. Oh, no. They reinforced five dudes. Though I have been scarred for life, I have recovered somewhat. I have been seriously injured. Dun, dun, dun. So what are the odds here? Never tell me the odds. Oh, God. All right. All right. Cliffhanger, everybody. Motherfucking cliffhanger. Can I pull this off? In out, in out, cliffhanger. Right, cliffhanger. So, thank you everybody for watching. As always, this has been your lovely host, Calvin, signing off.